welcome back. It's my hope that you're enjoying this incredible story. And as promised, and as usual, we have our expert of the day, and uh, we have no other but our amazing counseling psychologist, Mr. Julius. Karibu sana. Thank you. Kindly introduce yourself to the people. Thank you. Yes. Okay. My name is Julius Getare. Yes. I'm a counseling psychologist. I work as a training manager in, at Kenya Association of Professional Counselors. Wow, yes. great. It's always an honor to have you take your time and you know, come talk to us and Thank teach you. the parents at home a thing or two. Because I, as I keep saying mm. on the nest, we are saying, hey, problems are there and this is how to tackle them sure. so that we can make better decisions Correct. moving forward. Sure. Yes, I think you had a Kobia story and yes. uh, basically we are addressing the issue of postpartum depression. Yes. Uh, as an expert, could you kindly just unpack for us what postpartum depression is and how it looks like? Yeah, thank you Maureen for this opportunity to be here. Uh, and uh, maybe it's a very, very unique month. Yes because it's also a month of mental health awareness. Absolutely. And uh, this also has a lot to do even with the issue about the postpartum depression yes. that they've yes. come about. Yes. Because uh, these depressions come in seasons. True. So when we talk about the mental health month, mm -hmm. we are also recalling that uh, we have got uh, seasons of the, of the year. Very true. When people get depressed, wow. and other seasons when now they overcome that depression right. because of the change in weather conditions. Yes. 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 Like right now, the period where we are uh -huh. is uh, the climax of the depression levels oh, wow. because, of course, of the forces of the moon and the sea, the sea waves and the moon. Uh -huh. Now, because of the, the lunar eclipse, now our, our mind gets somehow disturbed in one way or the other. Huh. And as a result, now it causes it costs a lot of depression. I see. And so, mm -hmm. being a month of uh, mental health, mm -hmm. It's an area where by also we need to understand the three key things before now we go to yes. the depression. Yes. That uh, something very important I would like us to capture is to help people to know that when talking about uh, mental awareness. Yes. Because many organizations and many institutions will, will invite you mm -hmm. to go and talk about mental awareness. Yes. Mental awareness has got nothing to do with mindedness or depression we're talking about. Right. When you are mentally well mm -hmm. or you are mentally healthy. Mm -hmm. It means you are super functioning. Okay. There is no trace of any challenge in you. I see. But uh, now, because of the normal stress levels that come because of the daily hassles, mm -hmm. now we enter state of mental ill health. Okay. So when you cannot greet me in the morning and with the same organization, right? You are you are not mentally you are not a muddy person. Oh. <laughs> You're having a mental ill health Actually, because of that stress uh, that might have come absolutely, your way. Absolutely, absolutely. Maybe the tout refused to give you the change in the matatu. Yeah. That can be a reason. <laughs> so see. you are not a mandy person, okay. but uh, you're not okay still. You, you, you are not okay yes. because there is a stress that has come, come, has come your way. Right. Now, when we talk about mental, mm -hmm. mental illness, yes. now we are saying this individual, mm -hmm. we don't need to, 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 to put it at the place of work. Yes. We don't need to support uh, to, 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 to allow you to be a family person. Yes. We don't allow you to socialize with people because right. you are danger to yourself. You uh -huh. also are danger to, to others. others yes. Therefore, you are psychiatrist, a psychiatrist material. Uh -huh. You need to be in a mental health right. facility, a right. hospital, right. to be taken care of okay. for the purpose of medical management. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mental. Awareness man is prepare people not to know yes. what might be happening because of the lunar eclipse of yes. the moon yes. and the series and the series and the moon uh, we, uh, pu uh, that push mm -hmm. has got the, a direct correlation with our brain functioning wow. or our mental awareness. Okay. Yes. Are you learning as I am? <laughs> yeah, me yes. neither. In fact, yeah. I didn't even it didn't occur to me to ask you why the month of May. Yes. But so, thank you. Yes, for debunking that for us. And then again, yes. also remember, many mm -hmm. ladies who get pregnant in December, uh -huh. the first uh -huh. <laughs> post the, the first uh, trimester is over by the end of oh, March. Oh yes. As we enter the cold season, yes. Now those uh, morning sickness now start because of the sexual yeah. differentiation. Oh okay. They are <laughs> so they are they come across and they meet now with the cold weather and uh, right. things change. Things change. And, and it's true by the way. Children will yeah. children yeah. go on a lamp in school and we say that they are fearing exam. It's not the exam, they are <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, 
<laughs> the other it's something course. else going yes, on. It's something else happening. Okay. Yeah. All so it's right. not about the exam. Now that we are studying our semester one in, mm -hmm. in July, are yes. they going to ban the schools? I uh, know. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> they will burn because they, oh, they are mad. Burn. Oh, yeah. Because they are still <laughs> sick. True, true, true. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. So it has a connection. A connection, a very strong connection. No, it makes sense. Because for me, uh, yeah. for me, I thought it was the shift in the weather. Remember, we get, like in Kenya or the... Uh, Countries along the, the, equ uh, the equator. We, yes. The weather changes from the January heat to in April. Yeah. Mm. That's when we get our first rain. Mm. And I remember when the first rain comes, I can recall years whereby I slip into this mood and I'm like, I'm, I'm just depressed, mm. you know, like the, it, it, maybe it's not consistent, but usually it's like a day or two yes. until you get used to the rains. And I have friends who live abroad and it's the same thing yes. when it's fall, Correct. Uh, when uh, the weather starts shifting, then they also slip into some form of depression. And mm. I'm happy that you've been able to identify yeah. that for us. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Correct. Right. Now let's go now to the elephant in the house, yes. postpartum depression. <laughs> yes. Now, postpartum depression, mm -hmm. there is also a, men, a mindset of thinking that it is only a case for women. Right. Yes. So actually, postpartum depression, mm -hmm. uh, it is thumb and, and depression is a mood disorder yes it's a mood yes, disorder yes, yes, yes and this mood is coming after a mother and uh, been expectant right she has uh, taken uh, she has mm -hmm. gone through the nine period of uh, nurturing the, the the child in the yes, stomach yes. and now the child the child has been given birth right uh so many times postpartum depression will come three months after delivery mm -hmm. it will come three months after delivery okay and uh, this was Postpartum depression, mm -hmm. one of the major causes is uh, the, the situation that the mother has been going through during the pregnancy time, as there been a good relationship between the wife and the spouse. I see. Or is this, uh, the, the, is it because life has been dreaded, like the way COVID challenged yes, us? Yes, 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 yes. And so many youth uh -huh. became pregnant. True, true. Uh, has this uh, mother been having some medical conditions mm, mm, mm. within ourselves? Right. So there are so many factors that can trigger this. Uh -huh. Then the issue about, of course, the the, 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 the hormonal imbalances yes, in, yes, the, yes. in the lady. Yes. The issue to do with also, uh, these are the use of uh, uh, these are, uh, pills? Pills. Yes. The, 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 yeah, the family planning the family pills. Planning pills and then yes. they stop. Yes. This can also be some of the True. things that can be both cause those kind of problems. Yes, yes, yes. After now the mom has given birth to the child. Right. And uh, when somebody is under depression, mm -hmm. when somebody is under depression, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, the energy level wins. It's true. You feel so, tired all the yeah. time. You, uh, you exactly. Sleepy all the time. Yes. True, true. Uh, you oversleep, mm. some, uh, then you lose even the appetite. True. Or sometimes yeah, you lose the appetite. Yeah. And if for men, even the libido go down. Um, uh, and if the libido for men is good now, even yeah. for the women, yeah. it is yeah. not there. It's true. Yeah, that's not their priority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And many times, a mother tends to become more indoor than outdoor. This jovial mama yeah. has been uh, going out there, yeah. chatting with other women, being mm. the chair in mm. the table, mm. bang and the true, rest. True. Now she can with the house, wow. but she'll still be making calls and telling people, I'm coming. Yes. You can keep on promising people throughout the day and do not leave that house. Mm -hmm. That's an indicator now of Sounds somebody is going down. Right. Yes. Does it sound familiar to you, yeah. Kobe? Okay, me too. Uh huh. And so, yes. when that thing now happens, mm -hmm. The environment is very important to understand mm -hmm. this, this, this particular purpose. However, maybe before I come to that, mm -hmm. I mean to say that uh, when talking about now postpartum depression, mm -hmm. you have got three types mm -hmm. that affect women. Okay. However, mm -hmm. this depression is also men. If you are my spouse mm -hmm. and uh, you are having this postpartum mm -hmm. depression, mm -hmm. yes. You are also going to depress me. Absolutely. As your spouse, you also stress me. True. But many times we tend to, over, to, to overlook the man side. True. Is the woman who is yeah. depressed. Yeah, we see But the fact that you don't want to see me, <laughs> yes. you are hurting me, mm. you are throwing tantrums to mm. me, yeah. you are agitated with me all the time. Mm. There's nothing you can appreciate me even for uh, offering you that True. now yeah. has got a lot of impact on me. It is yeah. also the, the, the man mm. and also the child mm. can be depressed right. because of the fact that the mom um, is depressed right. so it has got that ripple effect in the entire family yes. system yes yes makes sense makes yes perfect sense. yes got that. so oh, okay. now we have mm -hmm. three types of de depression that are mm -hmm. postpartum depression mm -hmm. we have got the normal bruise blues, uh, baby, yes, bruise baby blues that yes. will come on yes. the onset and now and this normal bruise mm -hmm. it is a bit tricky mm. and i pick from 
Madam Kobe, I want to show you I think it's a yes. bit tricky. Yes. Because one minute she's high up, she's giving you high five. True. The next moment she's, she's down, down. And you under. Is it right. the same Kobe? Person, yeah? right. And so you, you can misunderstand and think yes. that this is a crazy woman. Yes. She's yes. not crazy. Yeah. <laughs> she's having those bruises, yes. those baby bruises. Right. And uh, however, mm -hmm. baby bruises, mm -hmm. they take shorter time. The right. moment you are down, the moment you are cranky, yes. the moment you are very moody, the moment uh, you don't want even to say it to anybody. Yes. So it, it, it takes a short time. Mm -hmm. That's why they are called now mm -hmm. baby bruises. Right. Yeah, and yes. sometimes we might be saying that they probably mm -hmm. is because of the reflection of what, what has happened. True, true. However, mm -hmm. If this is not managed, yeah. and it, I, it's a detail, it is very easy to manage that when I come to the, the interventions, it is easy to manage the baby bruise. Mm -hmm. However, if it's not managed, mm -hmm. they graduate now the second one, uh -huh. which are calling now postpartum post depression. depression yes. Now that one, mm -hmm. it takes longer time, and these signs and the symptoms, they are mm -hmm. stronger, mm -hmm. than they, they, they are more intense and more severe mm -hmm. than for the baby bruise. I see. Okay. Uh, that is the, one of the major differentiations mm -hmm. that at least now they are more intense right. and uh, they, they also increase mm -hmm. the, the baby bruise. Okay. And at that particular moment when right. somebody now, when now mom is at the, the, the mother is at the stage of now postpartum depression, mm -hmm. this mother uh, is uh, down, she can't sleep, mm -hmm. uh, she can't uh, e even, even communication break down yes, is a yes, problem. Yes, she yes. can't even take care of herself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she become a liability. She turned out to become a liability to herself, to herself and yes. even to the environment. Yes, she yes, uh, yes. she is uh, right at home. Yes. She can't even work. Yeah. She's impaired, mm. and sometimes uh, she might reach a point of even uh, developing a, a state of apathy. Mm -hmm. Remember, she does not see interest in life. Mm -hmm. She cannot even hurting herself or mutilating mm -hmm. herself. Mm -hmm. She's down. I see. And. Uh, uh, sometimes now this can even really put the spouse down because sure. I can't understand what happened to my wife. Mm. I don't understand. Right. So that, that again also now break the, the communication system in the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, this also shed a lot of fear in the system mm. because there are moments of uh, there is a lot of anxiety, a lot mm. of tension in this family. Right. So that now compounds the problem. But those two conditions are manageable. Mm -hmm. They are manageable very easily mm -hmm. through two things, medication mm -hmm. and counseling. Okay. Uh, uh, baby bruise and uh, postpartum depression, right. they are manageable. Mm -hmm. If there is good support, mm -hmm. they are manageable through medication mm -hmm. because we have got the anxiety and drug that psychiatrists oh, are yes. going to give this yes, particular yes, person yes, or the yes. kind of the yeah. particular person. Yeah and also antidepressant mm -hmm. drugs, mm -hmm. they manage. Yes. Then combined with the counseling, mm -hmm. it will revert this particular person to the normal state where they were before. Absolutely. However, yes. the bad condition, mm -hmm. which we are calling now uh, the, 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 the psychotic condition, uh -huh. was right. the, the, the psychosis. Yes. When somebody becomes psychotic, mm -hmm. they have lost reality. The reality testing now is impaired. Right. Because this individual is preoccupied with the uh, hallucinations, mm -hmm. which are audio and the visual images which are not there. Oh, but to the one of this particular person, they are seeing. Okay. They are seeing so things sort of and they hear the yes. voices which yes. are very clear. And these voices can make you even to, to go and hurt yourself. Sure. Sure, sure. And sometimes you might start seeing yourself as mm -hmm. if you are an exalted being. Mm -hmm. You start seeing yourself as a maybe the first lady wow, in the nation, wow. uh, and uh, when maybe there is light, then you start saying that probably God, uh, God is speaking mm. to you. Actually, that is the beginning of many cult and long religion. True, when true, people reach that stage, the stage yeah. of becoming, becoming psychotic, yes, yes, yes. then there is uh, these uh, delusions which are very strong mm. false beliefs mm. that the individual has. Mm. If I develop these false beliefs that uh, you are bewitching me, mm. you cannot remove yourself. There. It's true because you want to believe that. At that stage, if it's a man, mm. when they have become psychotic, mm -hmm. they can be they, they can stand in the office from morning to evening, wow. and when you ask them what they are saying, that mm -hmm. uh, what they are doing, that mm -hmm. they say that. Uh, I'm marrying this lady. Wow. And, uh, yeah. This is somebody who is mentally sick. True. There is no marriage there, even if, even if you don't know this particular person. I, I hear you. And uh, mm -hmm. if they develop a certain liking for you, which is part mm -hmm. of the delusions, mm -hmm. 
they follow you wherever you go. It's true, and it makes a lot of sense. If so, they hate you, yes, that's the end. <laughs> All right, uh, because of our <laughs> because time, of time yes. yes, I would love for you to walk us in one minute. Mm. Uh, walk us through the interventions. Thank you. Yes. Now, intervention procedure for some uh, for somebody with postpartum depression mm -hmm. is one, uh, first of all mm -hmm. is medication. Mm -hmm. So the medical practitioner mm -hmm. who has been seeing this mom mm -hmm. need to continue seeing the, that mom. Okay. Number two mm -hmm. is uh, counseling services. Okay. Number three yes. is the environment where mm -hmm. the person is coming from to mm -hmm. be very supportive. Right. Uh, that is the even it's the spouse, yes. the caregivers need to be very supportive. Right. Number four, mm -hmm. this particular person need mm -hmm. to be connected to a support group. Uh, Huh. Like a, a group of mama, and right. these mamas, they are not. They should not be like the Kiriman moms, whereby they are only talking about whatever. <laughs> it's mamas right. who can be able to talk about you. Real solutions. Yes. To real then problems. this mama number yes. five, the yes. mama need to eat a robust diet, uh -huh. and she do what you are calling now self care. You uh -huh. love, she love herself true, selfishly, true, true. Yes. and she stop giving herself negative feedback about herself. Right. Then also, this mama need to also to. To get some element of sensitization, mm -hmm. whereby the mom need to understand her blood group, mm -hmm. because oh. some of the problem we have, they have uh -huh. to do with the type of the type of food we are eating. Uh -huh. uh, she did, if if she is eating this type of kind of food, mm -hmm. is it in line with mm -hmm. her blood group? Because mm -hmm. some food we are eating, they are uh -huh. triggering bland, uh, they, are, they, are, they are triggering depression, depression because you are not eating the light food uh -huh. which is in line with your blood group. Oh, wow. That, I, that's now bringing whatever you call it, lifestyle diseases. I see. So that Im that pairing <laughs> is very, 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 very important. Right. And of course, seeking guidance uh -huh. uh, from people who have been good, like now the testimony yes, of uh, yes, my sister yes, here. Yes, yes. Uh, that, that testimony mm -hmm. can become now a pillar right. to help people to know that if she overcame, right. who am I? Not. Who am I? Not yes, I, get in a, I guess in a nutshell for now, that's what I can say. Yes. Though the other tips we can probably talk later. It's okay. No, <laughs> you still give us, uh, as uh, maybe Kobia tells us how she feels, you know, from this conversation, what is going through your mind and what can you tell that mom or people out there? Like, there are some things that I did, maybe they affected me. Yes. It's funny that mm -hmm. we will never know. It's yes. A, I think postpartum is a combination of a lot of things. Yes. So I, I think the most important thing is discovering at least one. Recognize. Yes. Just yes. one. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a root level of it mm -hmm. that then things come up, mm -hmm. bend up, and right. it becomes worse. Right. Yeah. So it's always good like to know where did did I start? What was the trigger? What was the problem? Mm -hmm. Where did I start? Right. Yes. Okay. And most of the time, mm -hmm. when I go to baby showers, mm -hmm. see there's a way you oh, sit down, yes, 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 and yes. then, then you, you, you're, you're told, mm -hmm. can everyone say something to yes, the new to mom? Yes, to the new mom. I always to say, the, yes. there's post, post some depression. Mm. Ever. Mm. I always say, there's that thing. Mm. So make sure. Mm -hmm. The moment you feel something is not right, mm -hmm. Call someone, call a friend who is not, who will not judge true, you. True, don't true. do the, you, you don't have time for the bad no, negative no, energy. No. So go to Maureen because you know Maureen mm -hmm. won't judge you. Yes. And she's been through that. Then if you're not comfortable talking to your partner, because mm -hmm. maybe is the reason why true, maybe true, you true, have that true, situation, that, that's talk to your a friends. a possibility. Yeah. Yes. Talk to your friends. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, Mr. Jules, maybe as we wrap up here, yeah, do you feel like, uh, Prenatal care should include a lot of education around postpartum. And where could they be going wrong as medical practitioners? Is it the non provision or assumption, or they're just doing their work and that is to take care of the baby? Thank you, yeah. Madam Marie. Yeah. Now, <coughs> actually, prenatal care mm -hmm. should be a collaboration mm -hmm. between the medical facility. Mm -hmm and the mental health practitioners right. to support these uh, yeah. dear parents yeah. who are coming to the market. True, <laughs> true. true. <laughs> Why and, uh, the market? <laughs> yes, they, they're yes. joining the market. Yes. So, mm -hmm. and then uh, also that 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 that, that, that can need to understand that uh, mm -hmm. for postpartum depression to be triggered, mm -hmm. it's not necessarily the first child. Any child you give sure. birth to can trigger yes. postpartum depression. Yes, not yes, necessarily yes. the one first child. one. Yes. And uh, even getting multiple children, which yes. we are seeing is a Ooh, blessing. Yes, yes, Actually, yes. it's one of the major causes of you know, that oh, postpartum true, depression. True, true, yes. So, mm -hmm. there must be a collaboration. And mm -hmm. this now we are. In our medical health facility mm -hmm. or in our healthcare facility, mm -hmm. what are the 
urge the mm -hmm. system is that we need to integrate different professionals. Mm -hmm. Like in the jury system, we also need to be having the, 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 the lawyers. Yes. We need to be yes. having the psychologists, yes. the psychiatrists. Yes. So that when you are conducting an assessment mm. of a suspect, mm. it is a holistic uh, uh, objective, uh, objective view. Absolutely. We are giving this particular person. Yes. So we need to be having social workers in the hospital, mm -hmm. facilitated to sure. take care of the, the, these the uh, young mothers. Mouse. Yes. We need to be having psychologists there. Mm -hmm. We need to be having uh, the medics, sure. the, the gynecologists, wow. all those practitioners, and every person must be given an opportunity yes. to interact with these uh, caregi wow. with these moms, True. so that I give you my objective professionalism view. Yes. I did go to school just for the sake of being the Very school. True. I went yes. to get information yes. to yes. serve mankind. Absolutely. Give your medical view. Yes. I give my psychological view. Right. Give your spiritual view. Yes. Then give me your your legal view. Yes. Yes. Then as a result, yes. it will be a holistic package. Wow. Yes. That is something to Even think about. Even nutritionists need to be there. Yes. Yes. It's very true. Exactly. Because I've uh, been through it twice. Correct. Nobody told me about postpartum depression. Correct. I to, uh, in fact, I recognized mine long after I was out of it. Accidentally. Accidentally. I was yes. like, wait a minute. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. Same case. Right? Yes. And then second time around, I thought I would be ready. Well, I did better than the mm -hmm. first one, Correct. but uh, I remember the baby blues were real. Mm. They beat me oh, up seriously. like I was a wreck, but then I was also deliberate about mm. fighting. Yeah. So I said, no more closed curtains, I'll force myself. I had a routine. Every day I would wake up, uh, bathe my baby, bathe myself, look pretty, get in the car, just go walking around the, the mall yeah. uh, with a stroller yeah. and I didn't realize that it was doing me good because it was getting it was my strength kind of therapy. back mm -hmm. and it was therapeutic. Yeah, so really. I just, just go sit down and have a hot chocolate yeah. at yes. Art Cafe. But again, I was lucky like you because my last born baby was very calm and cute so yeah. he was just good to look at. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but uh, as we wrap this up, um, uh, maybe we can start with you. Uh, Kobe, what would be your last word uh, to our audience today? Um, I, I would advise, if, if you've gone through the situation and you know about it, share with people. Wow. Share. Share. Yes. Share, 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 share. Mm. So that someone can recognize before you see for you it go, didn't go far yeah. mine didn't go far yeah. maybe someone can be affected maybe so just, badly yeah. uh, we, we have seen people killing kids yeah. throwing babies Moms, yeah. Yes. Yeah. we can i think we can avoid that True. Yes. i think True. we can avoid that yes, yes. yeah wow. so we need to be deliberate yes. and the way you said mm. when you're going for the clinic mm -hmm. it has to come along with all this yes yeah. so that because yeah. I, I, I don't mm -hmm. think it's the, the postpartum comes like that time. Mm -hmm. I think it's something that has been there maybe sure. since you got expectant oh, and all that. Like then that something thing. triggers it like that. True, true, yeah. true. So if, if we have people telling young or first, my first mm. time moms mm. this is what happened or maybe this can happen. I They're more aware yeah. and they know how to tackle yeah. that. Yeah. I agree 100%. Yeah. Yeah, what about you? What would you tell our audience? I would tell the audience, first of all, when a couple want to get the baby, mm -hmm. they need to be physically and psychologically prepared right. so that uh, the preparation that mm -hmm. Kama had in hand with the yes. preparing for the child are yes. there. Mm -hmm. We have the money for the uh, household. Sure. We also need to minimize the squabbles in the family. <laughs> yes. By yes. seeking for self awareness yes. and the personal development. Yes. So that, because wow. awareness is eating. Mm -hmm. We also need to advise the moms mm -hmm. after delivery to mm -hmm. avoid a lot of visitors, mm -hmm. especially the first oh, yes. uh, one month. Yes. Minimize the visitors. Yes. <laughs> because uh, yeah. even if the back has not yeah. healed, sure. the system has not recovered. Yeah. So if you are the same person who is washing the clothing and entertaining everybody, yeah. you go down. You yeah. go down. In the name of being a generous idiot. So, <laughs> <laughs> <Who> just <laughs> give back, <laughs> and they also yes. to be monitoring the, the mobile phones. But yes. uh, when it, some uh, mom has got a baby, mm. it's not the time to be appearing like a safari coma. No, <laughs> yes. she need to reduce the more many mobile phones. Yes. When the baby is sleeping, also the mother should sleep. I, yeah. you did the opposite, yeah. you people. Yeah, yeah. 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 You did the yeah. When you do that, yeah. because yeah. you need to recuperate the energy mm -hmm. uh, to be able to support this child. I agree. Sleep when the child is sleeping, even when you don't have, when you don't have the, the, the appetite to sleep. Yeah, you just relax. try. Relax. Even to just relax. Then do exercises. Yes. Don't make yourself an Make True. yourself uh, I, an admirer. I agree. Like yes. I use have less energy when you yes. are smart than when you are 
when you are <laughs> yes <laughs> i agree i yes. agree and it, it makes you feel good about yeah. yourself sure yes. right um I will not even add a single thing. This has been such an informative session. I hope you learned something today and I hope that you learned that it's okay not to be okay. It's good to recognize what's going on with you. For the people around new moms or second time moms or third time moms, realize that just because there was another child before, they're immune to postpartum depression, come psychosis. So let's be kind, let's take care of our moms because they are the givers of life. And when there's a happy mom, there'll be a happy baby and a happy family. Thank you so much to Mwaka Coffee Africa, located at Ananas, just directly opposite Sarit Center for hosting us. Thank you, crew, Asante Nisana, for showing up and for making this happen. Until next time, have a good night.